Tengbu, as an ordinary citizen of the world, what is your message to the U.S. President-elect Donald Trump? I guess the best advice will come from Chairman Mao Zedong. Uh, he used to say that we think too small, like the frog at the bottom of the well. He thinks the sky is only as big as the top of the well. If he surfaced, he would have an entirely different view. So that saying comes from Chairman Mao Zedong. And I think it applies very appropriately to the 45th President of the United States. He is going to be the leader of the largest economy in the world, the most powerful nation in the world. And that is a position that has responsibilities not only to the United States, but to the entire global community. So my one of my messages would be, as he makes America great again, he shouldn't make the rest of the world weak. As he makes America great again, he shouldn't weaken China, for example, because the world is big enough, rich enough, for all of us to share its resources, its wealth, its, its wonders. But the planet is small enough for a small accident to kill millions and millions of people. So I guess with 2017 coming and with a lot of uncertainties that seem to be generating from the 45th president. One key consideration would be for him to bear in mind that whatever policy he chooses to implement, at the top of his mind, he must always remember the consequences, not just for America, but for the rest of the world. And I think for him to be able to be mindful of such consequences, like what Mao Zedong says, he must be able to surface to the top of the well so that he can see, he must have a view that is not just from an American perspective. Now why, what am I referring to? Because. For those of us who might have forgotten, Asia has become much more peaceful, a lot prosperous, thanks to Richard Nixon. And I'm standing in front of a table tennis table, a ping pong table, and Richard Nixon is famous for the implementing or launching ping pong diplomacy, whereby America and China decided to establish peaceful relationship. And this is what 40, 50 years later on, we should not reverse the achievements that have been made, that took a lot of effort to achieve. And it is so easy to unwind if we are not careful of the consequences of whatever the policy is. Hey, after all, it is the largest economy in the world is the most powerful nation in the world and you are going to be the 45th president.